the C senior deputy uh, governor of the Bank of Canada uh, recently said that there, the productivity in Canada is a huge concern. It's actually in an emergency break glass situation right now. Uh, we know that in Canada there's been six consecutive uh, GDP per capita uh, decline. We also know that um, Canada's GDP per capita growth is the lowest in all of OECD countries. Uh, in fact, the GDP per capita now is lower than it was in 2018. Uh, do you agree with uh, Deputy Rogers that productivity is in a break glass emergency situation today? Um, it, it may not be, I would probably not have chosen that type of analogy, but I agree with her overall assessment that productivity is an essential part of, um, uh, of economic growth and success, and it's something that needs to be addressed if we want to maintain and increase our standards of living. So, yes. Um, would what, what factors do you think lead someone to believe that we're, we're in this kind of situation? Well, the fact that productivity growth in Canada has been lagging that of the U.S. and that of many other European countries, advanced economies, um, and that is a worry for many reasons. Um, it, will, it means that our economy is not growing as fast as it should and that we are at risk, at more than at risk, of losing ground compared to our, our main competitors and nations which we, that, with which we trade. Um, Canada's tax burden today is uh, the 12th highest in the OECD. It's higher than the US, UK, and even the average of the OECD. Would you agree that the tax burden um, is also a, a factor when considering in our low productivity? Um, the evidence on this is mixed. Uh, I think more than the tax burden itself, it's the mix of tax, whether you tax labor and capital versus consumption more, like the, the mix has an important factor, is, is an important factor, because there are countries with a relatively high tax burden, such as France and Denmark, that do relatively well on productivity. So much more than the level, the overall level of tax burden, I think where the taxes are levied, where from, is probably the most important factor, more than the overall. Yeah, so, so to a, an average Canadian family that's, uh, let's say, going to get groceries, they see high grocery prices or filling up their gas, and we're, when we're in, in regards to productivity, would you agree that um, the, the carbon tax is one of those impacts on any Canadian's uh, everyday life or what we say when we say Canadians are getting poorer? Uh, the tax on carbon has an impact on everyday prices, especially those that are heavily reliant on fossil fuels, for example, transportation and heating. So um, it's, it's something that it's, it's hard to disagree with. Uh, so, um, you know, if we were to... Uh, acts a consumer carbon tax today, uh, do you think this would have a positive impact on Canadians' everyday life or the productivity that we see here in Canada? Uh, I'm not sure what the impact on productivity would be, uh, but the impact on prices it would be, we'd, we'd expect to see uh, inflation to, to be reduced. The quantum would depend on many factors, including the competitive framework. Uh, that Mr. Boswell can probably speak much more, much better than, than I can. So, but yes, if we were to eliminate the carbon tax, one would expect prices to, if not decrease, at least grow at a slower rate than would otherwise be the case. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's time. We're up well over the time. 